Where are my children, Rita? What have you done with them? Magrat, I'm not telling you anything. You betrayed me. So why should I help you? You're right that I didn't get what I wanted in life, and I do feel betrayed. Did you really think I would keep them here? Yes, just like before, you were willing to sacrifice fairies to protect them. I'll save you the trouble this time. They're with my twin sister, Gwen. There, you know who has your precious kids. Now let me go. She and I, to tell the truth, aren't exactly close, but she offered to take them off my hands. I jumped at the chance. Are we done here? Is that supposed to be funny? You will never see your children again. Margaret, on behalf of the entire fairy realm, I thank you for your part in restoring the balance between our worlds. Now for you, Rita. I've given your punishment a lot of thought. What's happening? No, you can't do this! How can you be so cruel? Oh, but these berries... No! You'll remain imprisoned in this state, until you atone for your wrongdoings. Now, on to more pressing matters. The balance is threatened once again, and I think it has something to do with... Don't get any ideas, Ratcatcher. Look, I'll tell you where my sister lives. She's on the other side of the farmland area. Near the ruins of the old blacksmith's house.
Still out there. It was a dragon. It came out of nowhere, breathing fire and making a ruckus. Oh, you must be mad to be out here. Here, good luck.
All the magic in our world comes from the fairy realm. Whenever a witch or warlock uses magic in our world, the membrane between our worlds gets thinner. Like a cloth pricked with a small blade, small rips in the membrane are beginning to appear. If the membrane shreds, the two worlds will collapse into each other, destroying both. flame if you think it'll help. I was too consumed with vengeance at the time, so I didn't question it. But now I'm worried about why Gwen would want those kids so bad. I guess you caught me in the act. Don't judge. It's magic dust. 
and worth a pretty penny. I ran out of gold, I'm afraid. Lost my watch as well. Say, you didn't happen to come across it. I'm not stealing anything. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, don't go pulling my heartstrings now. Uh, it's all useless anyway. It's not like we can get to Oberon's throne. We can't change anything, right? Don't get fussy with me. There's a legend that says the fairy realm's magic flows through the king's throne. <laughs> but you didn't hear that from me. The throne is the focal point of all the magical energy in the realm. But there's a catch. A righteous person of either realm can break even the most powerful enchantment as long as certain rules are obeyed. Oh, and I suppose you'd like to know about those rules. Fine. You need something that belongs to the person who's enchanted and the components used in the enchantment to reverse the spell. Too bad no one can get to the throne. The palace is a shambles. I'm off before the world ends. But here, maybe this will come in handy. Phew, I'm glad he didn't notice me. He's liable to cook me up for supper.
you. I have seen a woman with two kids up the hill beside the road's blocked. Those ravens don't belong there. Here, take these flowers. They're magical. If you can awaken the magic in them, their light will repel dark creatures. Try pinning them into the scarecrow's clothing. you hear me? Someone from your world is using one of eleven forbidden enchantments. Oberon's throne might contain enough power to stop it, if only there was a tear. I was just beginning to feel at home here, and now the whole village goes belly up on me. I love to help you, but I'm afraid I'm useless without my pipe. The pipe, I tell ya. I can't function without it. Ah, there we go. You say the witch took your kids. Everything's connected, you know. All right, get me some cinder stones. They're around here somewhere. So this pipe, its smoke shows you a story. Watch. It's great at parties. Now, look in the Encyclopedia of Spells. There on the table. Only one of the eleven forbidden spells is strong enough to upset the balance like this. The enchantment brings back the dead, and the rules of magic require two sacrifices on the third day. One for the deceased's physical form, and one for the spiritual form. If the enchantment involves children, sacrifice isn't necessary. A teardrop from each child will suffice. 
But there's a price. The children who lend their tears become vile. If done correctly, the person will come back, just as he was before he died. I believe Gwen intends to use your children for this enchantment. But why? You still have time. The enchantment hasn't set. You can still save your children. You found us! Don't worry, though. Gwen didn't hurt us. All she did was take some of our tears. But it's okay. She's just trying to bring back her husband. Gwen was married. I never knew. What happened to him?
stay back. You can't stop me. I need him. Gwen, it's me, Rita. You know you can't bring someone back without consequences. Just look around you. I don't care about the consequences. You wouldn't know. You've never loved anyone. I want him back. I'll do anything for that. The rips in space, and the throne room is the focal point. There's the throne, the concentration of all the magical energy in the fairy realm. Didn't Gideon say the spell can only be broken using items belonging to those who are enchanted? We need things that belong to your kids. Now we're just like everyone else, and maybe that's okay. 